Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing JavaScript operators. We briefly discussed types of JavaScript operators. I also told you that we are going to discuss and understand each of these operators in detail step by step. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript arithmetic operators. JavaScript arithmetic operators. There are five different arithmetic operators are provided by JavaScript. They are plus symbol indicates the addition operator, minus symbol indicates the subtraction operator, star symbol indicates the multiplication operator, forward slash symbol indicates the division operator and the percentage symbol indicates the modulus operator in JavaScript. Addition operator is used to get the sum of two numbers. Subtraction operator is used to get the difference between two numbers. Multiplication operator is used to get the product of two numbers. Division operator is used to get the quotient of a division operation. And modulus operator is used to get the remainder of a division operation. All these operators are very simple to understand because they are discussed in school level mathematics. I think you people have the brief idea about is all these operators. Let's discuss how these operators are used in JavaScript. Let's have a demonstration. I go to the notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has uh, the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to arithmetic operators. In the body section, I have already written opening script and a closing script tag. I already opened default.html in the Chrome and the title is set to arithmetic operators you can see. Now I go to the script tag here. I say document.write. I say here arithmetic operators double quotations back at close semicolon file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that we got the output arithmetic operators. Next, I copy this line of code, paste down, I pass here the break tag so that the cursor should be moved to the next line. I copy this line of code, paste down, here I give an expression 2 plus 3. What happens here, we know that the plus operator works like an addition operator. It gives the sum of two numbers, so the result we are going to get is 5 on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the output 5 let's proceed further i copy this line of code paste down i copy this line of code paste down and i give here an expression 5 minus 3 now here the minus symbol indicates the subtraction operator so it gives the difference between these two numbers 5 minus 3 is 2 we get the result 2 on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the result 2 on the screen let's proceed and get more information i copy this line of code and paste down i copy this line of code and paste down here i give 5 into 2 star symbol indicates the multiplication operator it gives the product of two numbers so 5 into 2 we get the output 10 on the screen file save Go to browser and refresh. You can see I got the output 10. Next, I copy this line of code, paste down. I copy this line of code and paste down. This time I say here 10 divided by 2. What output we get here? I told you that the forward slash indicates the division operator. The division operator gives us the quotient of the division operation. So here I get the 5 on the screen. Let me discuss uh, what is the quotient means and what is the remainder means. Let me go to the MS Paint. Here I write the 10 that is a numerator and then I write here 2 that's a denominator. So 10 divided by 2 we are performing here. 2 into 5 is equal to 10 and we get the result 0 0 here this part that you see here it's called as quotient and this part is actually known as remainder so division operator yields the quotient we get the result 5 on the screen 
let's see that i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that i got the result 5 right the output we got 5 similarly i am going to copy this line of code and paste down i copy this line of code and paste down instead of division operator i use here percentage we know that the percentage symbol indicates the modulus operator in javascript it gives us the remainder that is going to be zero so 10 mod 2 the remainder is zero right so we get the output zero on the screen let's see that i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the output zero there now we understood the plus sign gives us the sum of two numbers minus is going to give us difference between two numbers star symbol gives us the product of two numbers division operator gives us the quotient of the division operation and uh, the percentage that is the modulus operator is going to give us the remainder of the division operation we discuss more about these arithmetic operators we see some special cases let me copy this line of code and paste down here and uh, I copy this line of code and paste down here this time I am going to say 10 divided by 0 this is a special case actually 10 divided by 0 I am writing what output we get here actually we know that anything is divided by 0 is infinity even the computer don't know what's the meaning of infinity actually so here 10 divided by 0 is going to be resulted to infinity we get the output infinity on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the output infinity there the javascript displays infinity why this is a special case let me tell you if you are creating a game for example you have written an expression like player dot x position should be equal to a divided by b minus c semicolon you have written this expression okay you don't know whether the denominator goes to zero or not at any time this denominator yields to zero anything is divided by zero is going to be an infinity so player dot x is going to become infinity friends so remember that your player is going to be positioned at infinity place even the computer don't know where to position that element actually on the x-axis so that the place where the player is going to behave differently it might uh, not work as you are expecting so remember that the denominator should never yield to infinity at any case for example if you are writing this expression player dot x is equal to a divided by b minus c at any time you should put that in a condition you should first check the condition if b minus c is not equal to zero then only this expression should be evaluated we discuss about the conditions if statements and all later i am just giving you a precaution code here how do you check whether the denominator is going to zero okay so remember this special case let's proceed further i am going to copy this line of code and paste down I copy this line of code and paste down we know that the plus operator on the left hand side if it has number if it has right hand side also a number it gives a number as a output we get here the result 5 file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the result 5 let me talk one more special case here for example if left hand side there is a string and right hand side there is a string then the plus operator works like a concatenation operator instead of getting the 5 here we get the result 2 3 right we get the output 2 3 on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see i am getting the output 2 3 instead of 5 because the plus operator is working like a concatenation operator here what if uh, we want to get the result 5 instead of uh, 2 3 i want to get the result here 5 not 2 3 this is one of the special case there are some situations you come across where you need to get a string plus string a number so here what you need to do is you need to take help of uh, data type conversion functions i discussed a parse int function you remember we discussed parse int function to that if we give a string 
or having a number it returns a integer right it returns a number type here i say parse int to convert that string 3 to a number 3 left hand side we have number 2 right hand side we have number 3 so plus operator works like an addition operator it gives us 2 plus 3 5 on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see i am getting now the 5 this is one of the special case we come across a lot of the time while developing applications or writing games okay remember this technique let me copy this line of code and paste down Let's talk about uh, more special cases. Uh, um, one of the the benefit of uh, the percentage operator is uh, we can get the last digit of any number. I have observed this behavior actually. Let me copy this code and uh, paste here. Here I have written 10 mod, let's take 10. If I write 10 mod 10, what we get is the last digit of this number. Here I get the zero as an output file save go to browser and refresh you can see i'm getting the output zero what if we have one two three four the mod 10 is going to give us the last digit of the number here i get four on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see i'm getting four no matter what is there on the left hand side what number you might be having there okay mod 10 if you do you get the last digit of that number here i get 5 file save go to browser and refresh you can see i got 5 okay if anybody asks you i give you a number and display the last digit of that number on the screen all you need is say mod 10 that's it okay what if somebody says i want you to display the except the last digit remaining digits you should display on the screen how do you do that to do that we are going to take help of the division operator so for example for this only i take i say here control v here if i say divided by 10 we get the output 12789.5 according to the mathematics we get the output here 12789.5 file save go to browser and refresh you can see I got 12789.5 now we need to discard this part to discard this part I already told that you can convert a float to an integer we know that the parse int function gives us the integer part only discards the float part so all I need is I need to put it in parse int when I say parse int what happens here we get the result 12789 that is except the last digit we are getting the other digits file save go to browser and refresh you can see i am getting 12789 and here i am getting 5 hope you guys have understood how the division operator and the mod operators are useful while developing applications also we use the mod operator to restrict a result for example i am going to select this control a say delete it and then uh, I write here some numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for example. Now I want to restrict the result to 0, 1, 2. I want to generate a number series actually 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0 like that I want to generate a number series 0 1 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 like that how do we do that we can take help of the mod operator all you need is you have to use a number which is greater than the uh, number which is the last digit in the series so here I write 3 0 mod 3 is 0 1 mod 3 gives us 1 2 mod 3 gives us 2 3 mod 3 gives us 0 4 mod 3 gives us 1 5 mod 3 gives us 2 6 mod 3 gives us 0 7 mod 3 gives us 1 8 mod 3 we get 2 9 mod 3 we get 0 you can see that we are generating a number series 0 1 2 0 1 2 we can restrict the result to a specific number right minimum to maximum 
that is how the operators are used you people need to understand these operators they are very simple they are very easy but they are very powerful they are used in many different situations many different problems you can solve by using these simple operators i have given you here some special cases about the division operator the mod operator the parse int function the plus operator and the division operator how they are useful later we start developing some useful applications and you understand how these operators are useful to solve complex to complex problems okay so for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i hope you guys have clearly understood what are javascript arithmetic operators and how they are used when they are used how they behave in different situations for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial